Hello, and welcome to another Gomer Play series! I am, of course, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and what you're seeing right now is Metroid Zero Mission. Let's clear up a space or two here. Yes, because I really need to do that. <laughs> uh, so, what's going to happen... Uh, well, well, first a little bit of background about the actual run itself. This is like the umpteenth time I've actually attempted this because I've never been really satisfied with some of my uh, run times. Uh, this one may be a little bit better, but this is for sure the final one. You know this because you're actually watching it. So uh, with a little bit of guest voice acting coming in, uh, let's give this a go, shall we? Oh, after I actually set my difficulty. Planet Zebes. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. And here we go, we are off! Uh, at the time of this recording, I don't know exactly who I'm going to get to do the voice acting, but uh, whoever it was, thank you. <laughs> um, I might know by the time I get to the second part where that voice actress will be necessary. Hopefully. Um, yeah, just giving you a little taste of, uh, of what goes on behind the scenes sometimes. Uh, what this is going to run... This, this is going to run... This is going to run however many episodes it's going to run. But, uh... Ah! Also working with the... Uh, Super NES control controller, the RetroLink uh, USB controller, and I'm not necessarily going to be following the the statues here, so I will do some sequence breaking, but it will be 100%. Uh, I'm probably going to go as fast as I can because I, I I find it difficult for me, not in terms of skill because I can do others, but uh, wow, that was a slowdown. But uh. Where was I? Oh yeah. It's not that I can't do it, it's just that to force myself to do it is a bit of a, a thing. So so I just figured, you know, I do the one I'm most comfortable with. Maybe later on I can come back and, and, and see me turning left right there. That's more the controller than it is me. Um, if you've had a RetroLink uh, USB controller, you might understand what I'm going at here. Um, oh god. But yeah, as you've seen, I'm skipping the long beam for now. I'll, I'll get it before I hit Torian, though. That's for sure. Um. Do, 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 uh, One thing I like about this particular version, this particular Metroid game, are the controls. Oh my god. With, with a good controller, the controls are just awesome. You, you use the R button to, to arm your missiles, which makes it so much easier. Hi! Come on! There you go! And I'll come back for the charge beam later, as I head to Norfair. Or maybe when I come back. But yeah, I think... I think I think it was Miles Luigi, who actually has a... I want to say a 9... It's, it's a low percent run, I want to say 9% run of uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Either that or, or no, maybe it's, maybe his is the sequence breaking one. I know there's a sequence breaking, and I know there is like a 9% run. I could be getting my Let's Players mixed up though. And over here, yeah. If you don't like these guys when you go through here, you need to take out this nest right here, along with the other two. Otherwise, they will keep coming back. I'm actually doing pretty well. Surprisingly, huh? I mean, I'm, I'm used to taking like a shit ton of damage from these guys, which is something that's starting to happen. Okay, so nine missiles, no long beam, which they kind of want you to have before you go through here, but it's possible. Ow. Okay, so it looks like it takes four missiles. One, two, three. Four. Goodbye. Uh huh. That's actually my best run of this room in a long time. <laughs> I've had other ones where I would get hit so much, you know, because I would run low on missiles, 
or or whatever, and I would just be taken down to the point to where you'd hear that annoying beeping sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that is definitely my best run of that room in a while. Of course, you get an energy tank not long after that. Yay! Ah, uh, it, which is good. Um. Oh god, so. So this game I actually picked up when it was relatively new, played it on my Game Boy Advance, uh, played it on the SP, which, yeah, it ended up getting worn out to hell and back. Um, under other circumstances, if I've been practicing for a while, it could, I could probably get it down to maybe two hours at most. Some, I think I've run it down to an hour and a half. I don't remember if it's 100% that way, or if it's just a normal run but an hour and a half is doable um, without, you know, even without cheats or anything if I'm remembering right. But this probably will not be that. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many episodes this is going to run uh, yet, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. I, ha I have certain stopping points uh, that, I, that I do want to make uh, before, you know, between each uh, video. There's a lot of ums in there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, video, ah, uh, uh, yes, ah, uh, ah, uh, let's, uh, let, let's play a Metroid, Metroid, zero, zero, mi zero mission, uh, chaos theory. I suck at Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. I suck at saying his name even, because that is, <laughs> uh. Oh, really? Get over here. Take your punishment, like a bug. There we go. All right, ah. and of course you just fall right on there. Uh, but this is the first new series that I've done since uh, Portal 2. And the day I'm actually recording this is the day Portal 2 goes live. Well, the finale goes live. And one of my followers is like, wait, man, you, that's pretty fast. It's like, Portal is like seven, eight hour game. If you have the time for it, you do it in one sitting. Um, oh. Well, seven or eight hour game for uh, for a first timer. Uh, so it's longer than the first one, but it's not like insanely long either. In fact, in fact, I, I was kind of hoping there would be a little bit more. But they also have like the community test chambers and everything. <laughs> so they, they 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 do have some longevity and replayability there. Um, it's just the story mode; it's not so much. Although I do love all the characters. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so as you noticed, none of those stupid little bugs came back to bother me, because I did destroy that third one hidden in the wall. Oh, uh, lordy. Uh, Something I don't get to do very often because of the improved controls is just bomb enemies to death. I don't get to do that anymore. And that's kind of one disappointment. Hi, Charge Beam. Hold B to charge, release to fire. I can do a charge attack. Pseudo little um, screw attack thingy. And I'm still debating. See, see, even at this point, I'm still debating. Do I want to do Kraid first or do I want to do Ridley first? Hmm. I do know I want to sequence, sequence break at least to get the uh, high jump boots. Well, that's certainly ominous. <laughs> and I don't even... Ow! Fucker. Now, rule of thumb, any game that, in which you can save, always save. I may not be ending or beginning videos at save points, but you will see me do saves. This is mainly because if people are watching this and if they're going to try this uh, based on my run, uh, then I would I, I would feel better. I, I, I would feel better if uh, <laughs> if they would actually follow that bit of advice. Always save. Alright. Bomb jumping. Which, it's hit or miss for me when it comes to bomb jumping. But, oh well. Sometimes I can do it well, sometimes I can't. I don't think my route... Ah! 
Shit, 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 shit. I don't think my route involves too much of the bomb jumping. I know there's some, like right here, there's gonna be some. There's gonna be a little bit more in the next room too, but ow. Son of a. Uh. So, whoop. Hi. See, like right here, this is where the next bomb jumping thing is gonna be. I will give Super Metroid's game engine a little bit of credit because it's easier to, to like bomb jump right out of midair. Like you could, like you could jump, and like, oh god, it, it, it's just like you can jump, do this, and then jump back up there, and then do the thing there. It, it's it's a little slower in terms of the in terms of uh, jumping speed. It's hard to explain, honestly. <laughs> Now, wall jumping, that may be a thing. <laughs> Which, the fact that I can even wall jump, or, or even do well at video games at all, is kind of a thing, because my left thumb cannot bend normally. Uh, which, which is, it, it's an interesting thing. And, and here I am sitting here playing platformers, action games, adventure games. Games where reflexes are a little bit more required. Get, get off me! And so, and and it's just been this way for years. I think I think it has something to do with the time I accidentally had it slammed into a car door when I was a kid, and just I guess it just healed weirdly or whatever, and I can't really bend it. But here I am. You're seeing me do this. <laughs> uh, the Chozo ruin. Ah. Uh. That mysterious block, which will become shootable in just a moment. Along with all of these. Oh, hey, look, a statue. Let's bomb it. And grab its item. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Current suit? Wait, you mean to get another suit? Well, what about the various suit? Will it be compatible with that? Well, let's find out. No, I actually know the answer to that, and anybody who's played this game knows the answer too. <laughs> uh, water. Okay, I'm gonna appear and I'm actually not doing too bad with bomb jumping today for the most part. Hmm. This is where you get the power grip. It is one of the required items in order to beat the game. So if you're doing a low percent run, you will have to get this. And you'll have to get this early. All it does is allow you to grab and hang from ledges and corners. Now, here's where you can test your bomb jumping skills. Looks like I'm doing all right today. All right. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. I was almost there. I tell you. I, I, I bet you... Could the Let's Player's curse be true? <laughs> I don't know. But 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 speaking of curses and legends, it's about this point. This is going to date the video a little bit, I realize. But they, they supposedly found the uh, landfill with all of the E.T. games buried or whatever. Um, and I say supposedly because at first I'm like, yeah, they found it. And then somebody pointed out, you know, it could just be a publicity stunt. And I was like, you know what? I really should have thought of that beforehand. So uh, maybe it's a, maybe maybe that's a true thing. Maybe it's not. How does that tie into the Let's Play curse? It doesn't. <laughs> uh, it it does. Just let this just say that there. Ah. And look at this. I've already got like. A maximum capacity of 45 missiles. I haven't even beaten the first boss yet. Which, okay, which under normal circumstances is good. I mean, low percent runs, you're gonna have maybe a minimum of five missiles, depending on what items you want to pick up. And again, because, always a good idea. Because you never know when you're going to die. And if you're if you end up dying, you go back to the last save point. My odds are I won't die, because I'm pretty good at getting through this without dying. But, just in case something goes wrong, there you go. 
Ah. Oh, and more bomb jumping. Hooray! Now, I can wait to do this until later, but I'm getting it now. There we go. Now see, before the power grip, there's this thing here, which I'll show you which it is, which one it is later. But, uh, and the way you get rid of it is you get those little bugs that were on me earlier, and transfer them to that, and they'll eat it away. However, at that point, there are no bugs. So it's just kind of sitting there, just in your way. You have no way of getting rid of it. You don't have a screw attack to screw through it. I don't even think a screw attack can go through it. But oh well. We're getting the ice beam. That's cord. This beam can freeze enemies in place and you can stand on them. What I want to know is how the hell does it cancel out gravity? Because you would think... Like, like this ripper here. Let's look at him. Freeze? How's he still floating in the air? You'd think gravity would take hold, he would fall. And he'd have to get back up, go back to his position. That would be kind of cool to see. And kind of funny too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That would be funny. But this isn't exact- and, and this one too! And that one three! And a lot of speedrunners I've seen actually skip this one, but I take it because why not? <laughs> uh, this one is supposed to be sending you, I believe, to the speed booster. And yes. And sit and squeeze. Squeeze me full of your power juices. I, 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 I think... I think that was a fail, but not the kind of fail I'm thinking of. Ah, get over here. I'm just wall jumping up here, man. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Missiles. More of them. When you play every Metroid game that I've played, you will not be short of missiles. If you are short of missiles, you are doing something wrong. Uh, or you're purposefully doing a low percent run. Gotta get up here. Whoop. Okay, got a bomb jump. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, one of the one of probably if you if you're a a big Metroid Zero Mission fan and you've played this a lot, then this is definitely I would say one of the most well known um, sequence breaks in the game to get down here to Lower Norfair. Yeah, and, and and it's easy to get back up, so it's not like you're stuck down here or anything. Um, and and it's still at this point. I could choose whether or not to go and kill Ridley. Can't go too far into certain areas without the Varia suit, though. And especially now, because, uh, hi! Uh, look, how much energy do I have? Oh yeah, 199! <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing too much with it. Oh! Alrighty. Whoop. We get our jumpers. High jumpers, that is. <laughs> uh, increases the maximum jump height and adds more fall jumping capability. It used to be two items. I remember back in my day, both of those things were two items. Oh, yeah? Freeze, asshole. Uh, so you can't get up that way because you have to have the screw attack. But you can do this. And I think I've made my decision. I'm going to go after Kraid. But before I go after Kraid, I can power myself up a little bit. Namely with the Varia suit. The Varia suit will make the mini boss in Kraid's area a, a, pretty much a joke. <laughs> At least for the most part. Um, I mean, it can still kill you. It, it, it That's not a thing, but... That's 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 not a uh, an issue. I, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm saying there. But the point is, it can still kill you, but it's not going to be as easy. Ah, oh, Jeebus. Alright. Why do I need to do that? I can fucking wall jump. And if you don't want to go down that path with the rippers, there are some bombable blocks that you can bomb on the sides. But I decide not to do that because... Because if it would be my luck, I would get up there, I would fall on the bombable block, and, and like fall well, fall through where the bombable block used to be, because it doesn't come back, and go through the uh, crumble block. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, for all that hype about the charge beam, I don't use it very often, do I? <laughs> oh, well. You know, you have power-ups that are like that, and I'm sure at least one or two have their uses. And that's fine. Ugh. You know, it's been a while since I've had an energy tank. Ow! Motherfucker, come here. I'll freeze your ass. Too bad you can't kill them. You know, like, like there are certain ones, like in the original, you could kill certain colors of uh, rippers. And, and, and it would be kind of cathartic, but... But here, you don't have that luxury. They're all the same. You can't kill them without the screw attack. You can't... You can't hang on that one. You just can't hang, huh? There we go. And I'm probably gonna get hit. No, I'm not. Okay, that was surprising. Whee! But yeah, this thing right here, that's what's in the way in Norfair. If you don't get your power grip. And right here is a save point. Now, the save point, of course, save often. And also, if you're doing a low percent run and you're going for your Varia suit, you may not have your high jump boots. And which means you'll probably end up dying quite a bit. Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, just getting up here requires some, some bombing acrobatics and all of that. And there's the bugs! There's the bugs! Watch what they do! Watch what they do! This is so cool. Get up there. No, 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 no. Night! And they can do this one. They can do this one. And it's like, hey! Bitch in a suit! Let's get her! These things are in our way! Yay! No! We are undone with the power of bombs! <laughs> Here is not so bad. If you're doing it without the suit, you still have to kind of bomb jump your way up to that point. This! I've seen it done, I've maybe done it once or twice, it's difficult as hell. Woo! Eh, you guys can just come along, you'll get off in the, in the door. There we go, the Varia suit. Decreases damage taken from enemies. And you can go in acid and heat. I love how you can go in acid in, like, heated rooms, but not in lava. You would th well, I, I suppose lava would be more destructive than acid. I suppose. Huh. But you still don't have mobility underwater, and... The, the incompatible with, with this suit message. Notice that it said various suit, and still nothing happened. <laughs> if it's your first time playing, you're like, well, what the fuck? I have a different suit now. Okay, so it has to be a different suit. Oh, you... Yeah. <laughs> if you've played through it, you know what I mean. And you know what the game means, too. Die. Diet Cola. Used with Ice Beam. You know, I have to wonder, has Samus ever used the Ice Beam to, like, chill a drink or something? That would be one of the most mundane uses of the Ice Beam ever. <laughs> That, that, that's a game that, that I want to play sometime. It's like, okay, think of the most mundane uses for all of Samus's weaponry. Huh. Alright, boys. Let's go for a ride. And here you go. Nom 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 nom. And for your reward... No! <laughs> yes, I am their god. 
And they will obey me. Uh, now where are you going to send me? Are you going to send me down where? The wave beam or something? Probably. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Wave beam. See, sequence breaking. All sorts of fun. Because I think you're supposed to have the speed booster before this. In fact, I'm pretty sure you are. But with the sequence break I took earlier that you guys saw. Yeah, we're alright. Now you have to go this way because you're not going to be able to go back the other way. After you get the Varia suit, unfortunately. But that's okay. And I think that room at the lower, at the lower room with the uh, red door, I believe that's just the map room. And I'm not going to go back and find out, because I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> uh, and that down, that down in that area, that's not another place for the ice beam. That's just uh, one of those Chozo statues that tells you where the hell to go. You know, and if you already know the way, you know, you don't need to go there. Uh, so, yes, we're going to go take on Kraid. Hello, Kraid. We're going to come and we're going to kick your ass. But on the way down there, we'll pick up a few more items. Uh, let's see. Normally, you would need the long beam, but as, as, as I demonstrated earlier, you don't have to have it. <laughs> because of the shortcut. And those don't come back either, which is pretty awesome. There we go, missiles. And something you're going to see me do once I beat Kraid, you're going to see me get that super missile. I think that's the only one in Brinstar. Sure, just purposefully run into enemies there. I thought smart. Uh. Boom. And if you've played the original, you know this is here. And it always gives an extra energy boost. Now you see why I didn't use that Chozo statue. I didn't need to. Now these, I believe, do not come back. So once they are gone, they are gone for good. That other bridge, though, does come back. Boom! More missiles. <laughs> I am just going in loaded for bear. Jeebus. Ah, uh, so... So, okay. I think this is a good place to end things off for this installment. I have no idea how long this is lasting, but if... I, I hope it's alright for you guys. Maybe the next parts will be a little shorter. I don't know. Oh, but... Hope you guys are enjoying it anyway, and I will see you next time. Until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.